Introducing Support Series 3, Verb Tenses in English, Video 5, Past Simple Tense, How and When to Use It. Past Simple Tense. Please note that just watching these videos won't get you to improve upon your verb tenses. You'll actually need to be practicing this actively, um, but these videos will help you get through some theoretical background on verb tenses specifically. Uh, to help you get started and to point you in the right direction. Frequently asked questions posed by clients. First of all, a question that is often asked is, how do we use the past simple tense in stories? And isn't the past simple tense used in conditional phrases? Stay tuned to find out the answers to these two questions. Let's start. This video consists of three parts. In part one, we're going to focus on a form of be, and then in positive and negative statements, as well as in questions. In part two, we're going to focus on other verbs. And in part three, I'm going to discuss when to use this verb tense. The objective of this video is to refresh your memory when it comes to the use and form of the past simple. Please note that the past simple is formed with a form of be, so that is was or were, or with other verbs. And note that was or were is an irregular verb, and so if you want to know more about that, you have to consult the irregular verbs table, and you have to then specifically look at the second column of that table. So examples of regular verbs are typed or carried, and examples of irregular verbs are was or were, did, and knew. Part 1. The basics. A focus on form using a form of B. Part 1A, a focus on form. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were. Part 1B, the past simple in statements. Let's start with the positive ones. I was tired. You were tired. He was ill. She was abroad. It was sunny. We were abroad. They were cold. Moving on to negative statements and contracted forms. I was not tired. I wasn't tired. You were not sleepy. You weren't sleepy. He was not at work. He wasn't at work. She was not cold. She wasn't cold. It was not cold. It wasn't cold. We were not at work. We weren't at work. They were not tired. They weren't tired. Part 1C. A focus on form. Questions. Let's start with closed-ended questions. Was I late? Were you late? Was he late? Was she late? Was it cold? Were we late? Were they late? Moving on to open-ended questions. Why was I late? Where were you? How was she? How was he? How was it? Why were we late? Where were they? Part 2. The past simple, the basics, Focus on form using other verbs. Let's immediately start with positive statements. The past simple using other verbs. I slept. You watched. He talked. She listened. It snowed. We ate. They wrote. Please note that some verbs are regular ones and others are irregular ones. So please consult the irregular verbs table if you'd like to know more about that. Moving on to negative statements and contracted forms. I did not sleep. I didn't sleep. You did not submit. You didn't submit. He did not do. He didn't do. She did not speak. She didn't speak. It did not rain. It didn't rain. We did not cook. 
We didn't cook. They did not eat. They didn't eat. The past simple, the basics, a focus on form using other verbs in questions. Did I say that? Did you cook tonight? Did he listen? Did she mention that? Did it rain? Did we do that? Did they eat? The past simple and in open-ended questions using other verbs. When did I say that? What did you cook tonight? Why did he listen? When did she mention that? When did it rain? When did we do that? What did they eat? So like I mentioned at the start of this video, you will need to practice this to be able to start mastering it. So take a course with us or let us develop a tailor-made language and communication course for you. All right, so let's move on to the next part of this video. Part three, past simple, usage. When to use it and why. First of all, it's used to talk about completed actions, and it's commonly used with time indicators like yesterday, last night, in 2020 or 2020, four months ago, and an hour ago. Examples. I went grocery shopping this morning. Second one. I ran some errands yesterday. The past simple is also used to talk about facts in the past with similar time indicators. Two examples, in 2020, COVID-19 hit us globally, and in 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white person and refused to go to the back of the bus, resulting in her being known as the First Lady of the Civil Rights. The past simple is also used to talk about details of news, and it's commonly used with the present perfect tense. An example. On Tuesday evening, a hospital in the Netherlands closed to new admissions for at least 12 hours, including emergency patients, because it no longer had space for them. Please note that this is an excerpt on, of an article on DutchNews.nl. Next, the past simple is also used to talk about actions in stories, and it's used with the simple past continuous the past perfect and the past perfect continuous. An example, she stood up and left the restaurant after she had broken up with her partner, who had just admitted to having cheated on her for a second time. And finally, the past simple is also used in a second conditional phrase to talk about unreal or imaginary things. And it's commonly used with wish and it's time. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a new car. In this video, the past simple was discussed. Up next, the past simple continuous. Up next, more videos on verb tenses in English. Please note that you can subscribe to stay updated on all things English for specific and academic purposes. So new videos will be published shortly. So if you'd like to learn how to start using them well, and if you'd like to practice them, take a course with us or let us just develop a tailor-made training service for you to make sure that you won't waste any time and money in the long run. Well, that concludes our video, but we'd love to hear from you too. So please comment below and share your experiences. If this video was useful for you, please like it and subscribe to my channel.